Welcome to you, Deputy President uh, Motlante, and to your delegation from South Africa. We are very happy to have you here in Stockholm. Our friendship goes back to the bad old days of the apartheid system in South Africa and your historic struggle for democracy, freedom, equality and human rights. In this uh, heroic struggle, you had the strong and heartful support of many, many people in our country. And you won this battle and your liberty because once again history proved to be on the side of people who fight for greater freedom and against racism and oppression. I am happy to preside jointly with you over the seventh meeting of the Binational Commission, another milestone in our strategic cooperation since it was inaugurated by our former leaders, President Mbeki and Prime Minister Persson during the South African-Swedish Partnership Week in 1999. I therefore wish to express my personal appreciation as well as that of the South African government for the constructive spirit of cooperation and friendship that has been demonstrated throughout the preparations for this important bilateral meeting. South Africa finds the Binational Commission invaluable and reaffirms our total commitment to work with the Swedish government to achieve this objective. Our countries share a number of interests in various areas such as education, research and development, investment in food processing and developing green economy. This meeting is a part of the Swedish-South African cooperation which has taken place on a very ambitious level during uh, over 10 years now and uh, this cooperation the uh, it's in uh, several areas we have uh, despite the long distance between our two countries we have a lot relation lot of relations and a lot in common uh, for example when you come to the economic and trade relations uh, we have since long time uh, a lot of such relations and we want to um, expand them any, uh, even more. Well, over 100 Swedish companies has today production and, and uh, other things in South Africa, for example. Uh, one of the key agreements uh, arrived at uh, the end of this two day uh, of hard work uh, is the agreement to launch a structured uh, dialogue on, on human rights uh, and that would be launched next year in South Africa. Uh, as good friends we agree on much things, we don't agree on everything and we have also discussed some challenges. South Africa is a young democracy uh, uh, but as a young democracy is also face challenges. Uh, we have also discussed them. I thank you very much for this opportunity to share my humble views on South Africa's role in contributing to the African continent's development through mediation and peace efforts. It is indeed an honor to present this lecture at this prestigious institution which has produced numerous Nobel laureates and is regarded as the premier institution of higher learning in Scandinavia and human dignity. Our people remain much obliged for Sweden's commendable contribution to our anti-apartheid struggle and equally value our historical ties forged under the rubric of international solidarity. Accordingly, we are proud that today South Africa is free and continues to build a united democratic, non-racial, non-sexist, just and prosperous future for its entire people. For its part, South Africa today prides itself on being fully driven by these same ideals of a better world grounded in human solidarity. As a beneficiary of selfless solidarity, South Africa espouses the view that the values that it seeks to implant in our national consciousness have no physical or geographic frontiers and are universally resonant. These values that inspire and guide South Africa as a nation 
are deeply rooted in the long years of struggle for liberation. In consequence, our foreign policy as a nation can thus be articulated as people-centered as it promotes the well-being, development, and upliftment of all people. We remain convinced that the historical character of most of African nations' problems cannot and will not be solved by military might, especially extraneous military aggression. African societies as they are today were shaped by colonial forces in a manner that ensured that there is a multiplicity of social interests from class to ethnicity defined by mutual mistrust and for better or for worse perceptions of domination. This is all the more reason we have always believed in the potency of jaw jaw over war war and the Libyan situation was no different. Guided by our own experience as a country that emerged from an odious system of apartheid, we sincerely wish for a genuine and irreversible process of reconciliation involving all forces as equal partners in the post-reconstruction exercise that was Gaddafi's Nearly all men can stand adversity, but if you want to know the true character of a man, give him power. Close quote. Minister for Trade and Investment to be given this opportunity to welcome South African, the South African government and business delegation to Denmark. You're only here for a short visit, but I hope we will build a long-lasting relationship. The volume of trade and investment between South Africa and uh, Denmark does not reflect or match the good relations which exist between South Africa and Denmark. Uh, however, the increase will not happen for as long as we keep our discussions at high level. We need to drill into very specific sectors uh, and, and identify areas in which there would be complementarities uh, and in areas in which there would be a competitive edge so that uh, we can actualize these uh, opportunities. The Deputy President and I have had a very fruitful meeting uh, this morning. We, uh, we discussed uh, global affairs, but also renew the friendship between our two countries. Uh, the friendship between South Africa and Denmark goes a long way back. Um, one is a very small country in, in one part of the world, and another is a very big country in, in, in South Africa. But we have strong cultural ties uh, and strong trade ties, and we want to develop that partnership in, in the future. So it was a very good meeting, and we appreciate um, South Africa showing us its interest. And, uh, Thank you.